Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. It's Mike here with Mike's Drones and more. And today guys, I'm going to be helping you to figure out how a lot of people question on they're wanting to build their own racing drone or getting into racing drones and they're not quite sure how to build a drone, what you even need to build your own drone. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the basics with you. This is going to be part one. Part two, I'm actually going to be building my new racing drone and uh, I'll show you guys step by step how to solder it up and everything like that. Now, there's many different ways that you can do this, but hold on a second. I'm going to pan the camera down and we'll go over all the different items that you're going to need to build your own racing drone. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for hanging out there with me and uh, thanks for holding on. So I've got everything in front of me that you're going to need to order to basically get yourself a basic racing drone. So the very first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to order a frame. Now, there's tons of frames out there. Um, whatever frame you choose, you know, you can do. Um, you know, I chose a 5-inch frame because I like the 5-inch flyers. So I chose this particular frame. Most of them are all carbon fiber which is extremely strong and crashes. So the next item that you're going to need to order are going to be motors. Now I chose the Racer Star Race Edition um, motors. These are 2205 uh, 2300 uh, KV motors and uh, these are the same motors that I run on my purple racing drone here. This is the one that I uh, built from scratch myself. Alright, so it's the same exact motors from those. And uh, these are not that bad expensive. They're only about, I think they run $27 or $28 for the set of uh, motors. So you're going to need a set of motors. Now with your motors, in order to control those, you need what is called an ESC, or an Electronic Speed Controller. So this kind of looks like, <laughs> like a big spider or a big squid or something like that, right? And they have all kinds of different uh, ESCs that you can buy. So you don't have to buy this one, but this is a Racer Star. I just like the Racer Star brand because they make really good quality stuff and it's, it's not super expensive either. So this is basically what an ESC is, again, is an electronic speed controller. What this does is this tells the motors how fast to actually speed up, speed down, and things like that. So think of this as kind of almost like your gas pedal. Now, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need basically is a flight controller. So your flight controller, this is, think about this is like your CPU in a computer or this is the brain of the drone. This is what tells everything what to do. So um, you got a whole bunch of different options on here that you can solder on a beeper um, this one actually it accepts a SD card this is an omnibus uh, F3 board there's all kinds of different boards out there there's all-in-one boards I mean there's tons of options so you guys don't have to go with the same um, things I did I just this is how I prefer to build mine so this is your brains this is what tells the flight controller to send the signal to the ESC's how fast they need to fly so you need a flight controller. All right, so we'll put this away. Now, to power everything up, you're gonna need a power distribution board or a what's called PDB, power distribution board. And you're gonna need some way to power it up. So this is an XT60 connector. This is typically what like 99% of all uh, drone racers use and this is your power board. So the power comes in from the battery here, powers up the board, and then you've got your different options all on top of the board. This is what goes to your ESC to power it up, everything like that. So this is the power part. All right, so you're gonna need one of these at least. And again, you don't have to go with what I chose. This is my build. That's what's great about racing drones is that you can build it to whatever that you want to, uh, to use. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to buy is you're going to need to buy a receiver. So this is what talks back and forth to your radio. So when you're controlling the radio, it's sending the signal back and forth here, 
and this is what sends the signal to the flight controller to the motors. So think like this is kind of like your cell phone or like your telephone. This is what communicates between you and the drone when you're telling it commands. So you need one of these. I prefer FR Sky because I use a Tyrannus QX7. That's my preferred radio. I love Tyrannus QX7. It's an awesome radio. All right, so next what you're going to need is you're going to need what's called a VTX or a video transmitter. So I've already got it hooked up to here, but what this is, is so this is what is transmitting the video back to you via your goggles or box goggles or whatever you're using ground station. And usually they've got some way of connecting it like mine. Um, this is a switchable, so this can go from 25 milliwatts to 200 milliwatts, 500 milliwatts, all the way up to 800. Now, I highly suggest, guys, if you're going to get into uh, racing drones or thinking about getting into it, um, definitely get a switchable one, meaning that you can switch it from 25 milliwatts all the way up. So about 600 to 800 is about the max that you really need. But if you're going to be flying around a lot of people, like I do with Multi-GP, um, you're going to definitely need to get a switchable because you don't want to overpower. If you have a video signal that's too much, it will overpower and somebody else will see your video feed on their goggles and you don't want that. Okay, so the next thing after that, what you got to do is you're going to need a camera. And the camera, obviously, without saying, is what sends the feed to the video transmitter back to your goggles. So this is uh, just a standard FPV. This is a, a 600 TVL um, camera and it does come with uh, all the cables and everything like that. So the TV or the uh, camera feeds into um, the uh, transmitter which transmits out to your goggles and then that way you can see what you're flying. The transmitter or receiver is what talks to your radio or your transmitter and sends the signal back and forth for the drone to flip forward, back, left, right, whatever you're going. Your omnibus or whatever board that you choose, you need a flight controller. Flight controller is your brains of your drone. This is what tells everything what to do basically. You need a power distribution board. Power distribution board is what sends the different power to the different components of your particular drone. Because some cameras like that one um, has a 7 volt to 12 volt out. Um, so you need a little bit more power for that. That's why I went with this one because it has up to a 12 volt. Which that one goes from 7 I believe to like 14 volts. So this will have plenty of power to send to my camera to be able to uh, to power it up. And then finally again you need a ESC. So an ESC is electronic speed controller and this is what tells your um, basically what tells um, the uh, motors how to turn and everything like that. And then of course you need your frame and you need some motors. Now these motors are already attached because I screwed them on but they come separate and then you just screw them on underneath just like that which is pretty easy. And then, of course, you're going to need some uh, some propellers. Now, the uh, propellers that I like to fly um, are these. These are the Racer Star um, 5042s. So here's what they look like. Um, I chose blue this time to go on my blue motors, just because I wanted them to kind of look cool. And depending on you know what you choose for propellers you know, uh, the different degrees and things like that. So, But this is the uh, the size that I like. It's the same size that I fly on my purple drone. So I ordered the exact same ones. And uh, I ordered a pack of uh, 10 of them. So it's uh, five pairs. So that way, if you do crash land, you've got plenty of um, propellers. And I do highly recommend, guys, if you're getting into racing drone and you're just starting out, um, get lots of props because you're going to crash. It's not a matter of when you're going to crash. It's where you're going to crash. You are going to crash. Um, this <laughs> drone has uh, been through several, several crashes. Um, it's not as pretty as it used to be when I first built it, but I'll tell you what, it has stood the test of time. It is an awesome drone, and um, I really, 
really really enjoy this drone a lot. Uh, this is my very first build and you know what uh, this thing is just it's taken a beating and um, you know what it's 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 great. So and I pretty much used all the same components. Um, I did upgrade the uh, flight controller a little bit because I wanted something different um, but I'm using the same basically uh, the same receiver um, almost the same it's the same company that makes the same VTX um, same style antenna same camera I'm using on this one so and the same motors as I'm using so you know once you build your first build you'll kind of get to know what you like and what you don't like and so guys I hope that helps you with deciding on what you want to do with your racing drone if you're just getting into the hobby or you want to learn how to uh, build your first drone you know definitely this is the way to do it so guys uh, again I'm gonna be doing a video um, part two will be the actual build well I'll take you step by step of how to solder your motors um, how to solder everything up into the boards and again they have so many different kinds of options that you can do they have all-in-one boards that you just basically have to hook up the motors to I mean there's so many different choices so you don't have to go with what I did you choose what's right for you so but uh, I definitely highly recommend guys if you haven't already checked out um, hit up UAV Futures um, Stu over there he does a great tutorial on how to build a race drone so he is really really awesome guy so check out some of his videos he does a whole tutorial and that's how I learned how to build my first drone and building your first drone is really nice guys because when you build your own drone you know exactly what components are in it you know how to take it apart you know how to build it and how to troubleshoot it which is nice so sometimes when you get the out-of-the-box um, drones you know sometimes they're already pre-built and things like that um, sometimes it's hard to troubleshoot because you don't know exactly what components there are I mean you can look in the box but really if you get your own and you build it from scratch you really get the understanding of how a racing drone works and how everything is put together so guys I hope this part one has uh, given you a little bit of insight on how to build a racing drone and what it requires to build a racing drone um, I'll try and put all the part list for you guys down in the link description everything I ordered um, I ordered from Banggood um, they have a lot of great great stuff on their website and they're pretty decently priced and they got pretty good customer service so uh, they've always been really nice to me so yeah definitely I'll uh, check them out like I said I'm not sponsored by Banggood or anything like that um, I just really like a lot of the stuff that they offer so guys if you like this uh, short part one video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me I would appreciate that and if you want you can hit the subscribe button it's down there and next to it there's a little bell if you hit the bell just let you know when we have new videos uh, Thursday Friday Sunday every other Sunday we have our Q&A video and during the week we have a FPV weekly video that I try and do every week and I also try and do a DJI video now uh, on um, we're gonna be changing up the schedule a little bit so um, I'll give you guys more details about that coming up but guys in the meantime while you're waiting for my next video let's keep our drones up in the air and flying high I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for hanging out have an awesome day